sources of a police, of you know, police forensics and so on at their fingertips. So that, that can be a challenge, but it's a challenge I enjoy and I obviously set up that situation. J.K. Rowling is a world famous British author, writer, novelist, and film producer. She's probably best known for writing the Harry Potter fantasy series, which has sold more than 500 million copies since debuting back in the year 1997. She's also a philanthropist who's reportedly donated at least $150 million to charity. Moreover, Rowling writes crime fiction under the pen name Robert Galbraith. Let me tell you that she was working as a researcher and bilingual secretary for Amnesty International back in 1990 when this writer conceived the idea for the Harry Potter series. Forbes has named her the first billionaire author in the world. And what, would, what each suspect would say or do was planned out over, I think, about 10 pages, a, a 10 page long table. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Joanne Rowling, but is also known as Joe Rowling, Robert Galbraith, JK Rowling. She was born July 31st, 1965 in Yate, Gloucestershire, England, making her 55 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 4 inches tall or 1.65 meters. Last year, she was ranked number 178 on the list The Sunday Times Rich List. And in 2007, Time Magazine named Rowling the runner-up for its Person of the Year. In 2017, she was appointed a member of the Order of the Companions of Honor in the Birthday Honors for services to philanthropy and literature. And in 2010, the author was named the most influential woman in Britain. Moreover, she supported several charity organizations such as One Parent Families, Comic Relief, and Multiple Sclerosis Society of Great Britain. And the author has also launched her own charity called Lumos. Since the year 2019, this woman has publicly voiced opinions on transgender people and related civil rights. Rowling has been criticized by members of the transgender community as transphobic. There's a reason why she uses the pen name J.K. Rowling. Before Rowling's remarriage, her name was Joanne Rowling. However, the publishers of this lady asked that she could use two initials instead of her full name because the target audience of young boys wouldn't want to read a book written by a woman. Since Rowling had no middle name, Rowling decided to use the letter K for Kathleen, which is the name of her paternal grandmother. Rowling has received several honorary degrees from universities, including the University of St. Andrews, the University of Edinburgh, Edinburgh Napier University, the University of Exeter, the University of Aberdeen, and Harvard University. She writes all of her books in longhand. During the early 1990s, she met a Portuguese TV journalist named Jorge Arantes in a bar. They discovered that they shared an interest in Jane Austen. Rowling and Jorge started dating and eventually got married on October 16, 1992. Their daughter, Jessica Isabel Rowling Arantes, was born July 27, 1993 in Portugal. Let me tell you that Rowling had previously suffered a miscarriage. The pair separated in November 1993. Rowling has said that she suffered domestic abuse during her marriage. In 2001, Rowling married Neil Michael Murray. Together, they have a son named David Gordon Rowling Murray and a daughter named Mackenzie Jean Rowling Murray. Done. So I'm often asked, which is a reasonable question because I know other crime writers do do this differently. Do you know who did it when you start? J.K. Rowling is the daughter of a Rolls-Royce aircraft engineer named Peter James Rowling and a science technician named Anne. Her parents got married on March 14, 1965, and one of her maternal great-grandfathers, de Gaulle Campbell, was a Scottish man from Lamlish. On the other hand, the French paternal grandfather of Rowling's mom, Louis Vallant, was awarded the War Cross for his exceptional bravery during the First World War. Her sister, named Diane, was born when J.K. was 23 months old. Her family later moved to Winterbourne when Rowling was four years old. During her childhood, she used to write fantasy stories, and when Rowling was nine years old, 
she moved to Church Cottage in Gloucestershire in Tudsell. She said that her teenage years were unhappy and her life was complicated because her mom was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. The author has said that she based the character of Hermione Granger on herself when she was 11 years old. Rowling attended St. Michael's Primary School and later attended secondary school at Whiting School and College. She took A-levels in French, German, and English and achieved two A's and a B. Then in 1982, she took the entrance exams for Oxford University. However, Rowling wasn't accepted and went on to attend the University of Exeter. She initially worked as a researcher and bilingual secretary in London for Amnesty International. She then moved to Manchester with her boyfriend. It was the year 1990 when the writer came up with the idea of a story of a young boy attending a school of wizardry. She started writing Harry Potter. During the same time, she moved to Porto in Portugal, where she taught English as a foreign language. Rowling started teaching at night and used to write in the day. After she moved to Edinburgh in 1993, Rowling saw herself as a failure. Her marriage had failed, she had a child, and she was jobless. However, she decided to focus on writing. Rowling completed a manuscript of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1995. Her book was rejected by 12 editors and publishers before Barry Cunningham of Bloomsbury agreed to publish her book. The book was a massive success, and Rowling went on to become a best-selling author. She released Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in 1998. The next year, the third book, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, was released. In 2001, the film version of her first book was released. After the success of this series, she took a hiatus and returned in 2012 with the casual vacancy aimed at adults. Because you can dress it so many different ways. You know, you've got your central structure, you've got your dressmaker's dummy, but you can, you can put any kind of dress on it. And that's what I love about the genre. I really, really love it. She is one of the richest private citizens in the UK, as well as the first author on the planet to become a billionaire. Her Harry Potter books spawned a multi-billion dollar firm, merchandise, and theme park empire. In a given year, this lady can earn around 50 to 100 million dollars from her various endeavors. For example, Rowling earned 90 million dollars from June 2018 to June 2019. Back in the year 1993, she earned 4,000 dollars from the sale of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Then in 1998, she was paid 105,000 dollars after Scholastic Inc. purchased the rights to publish her novel under the title of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. In 2005, she reportedly earned $59.1 million from her various endeavors. Moreover, Rowling's earnings from Harry Potter were $17.5 million in 2011. The total net worth of J.K. Rowling is $1 billion. The author has a mansion with a farm in Tasmania located close to the town of Perth on the southwest Esk River. The property is around 25 kilometers south of Launceston. Rowling spent $10.7 million to acquire this property. The house features seven bedrooms, several living rooms, formal rooms, and three bathrooms. Although the house is beautiful, it's very isolated. Well, it fits the style of Rowling, who isn't very keen on the 24-7 spotlight. She has another house in Gloucestershire, it's her childhood home and was put up for sale on the market in 2011 for 400,000 pounds. The church cottage is located in Tutsal near Chepstow. She lived in this house for nine years until Rowling turned 18. J.K. Rowling owns the following cars, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Range Rover, a Cadillac Escalade, an Audi.